This is PC Spiele Tips und Tricks with Episode 7 of the Desert Order Power Start series. In the first six episodes I showed how I conquered some bases in the north, then some bases in the center and how I finally connected both areas by conquering more bases. Among these were a number of river bases and four airport bases. All my bases form a connected area and most bases are well fortified compared to the age of this very young map. My resource production is running stable. The bases I conquered last are adding more flex. The others are producing units, mainly breeders. There are many opportunities in the center of the map as new player bases become available to everybody after a while. One player attacked such a base but still had no APC around to send it in. I was faster. I always have to pay attention that I do not accidentally attack a new player base as I cannot own it afterwards. Those bases I can conquer are displayed red on the minimap when they are in a visible area, example given when my stealth helicopter is nearby. These are very simple victories. But these are also important as I need many more bases. The number of groups depends on the number of bases. As visible in that battle in the morning, I reach my limits with the current number of groups when I attack well fortified bases with many level 3 flex. New bases require more command bases. These I construct mainly in bases that are safe because of their location. Therefore I avoid front bases for this. The typical case is a base that has been conquered by another player just before. As he took it, it is no longer a new player base for me. I can win the base easily if I am fast, defeating the flex before the owner is able to add more. I always attack with many more units than needed, as this reduces the number of lost units on my side. Occasionally there are units of the opponent in front of the base. This is a task for my T-34C. These need a lot of manual correction as they get attracted easily by the flex. It also happens that other players attack a new player base and then they notice that they are no longer a new player and cannot take it. They often leave such a base unprotected. After a while this base becomes available for everybody. Then I must be the first. This way I increase the density of my bases in the center of the map. I create a safe area surrounded by my bases. New bases inside that area do not need to be upgraded completely. Level 2 flex are absolutely enough there as they are protected by other bases. I cannot accelerate the process in the center of the map as I have to wait until the new player bases change their status or another player takes it. But this is difficult for them now as my bases with level 3 flex protect that area well. So I change my focus to the railway. I am surprised that on a long part of the railway there is not a single railway base. So I build a path towards the south, starting with conquering a first base near the railway. I am happy that the bases on both sides of the railway are not very strong. Players often don't like these bases as train owners soon will attack these bases heavily. For me this is an advantage as I am planning to be such a train owner and therefore I can protect my bases using trains. 
I need a wide area along the railway as I plan to use it as a highway for my military units. Ground units, as well as planes, need to be able to move fast from the center to the south. In a first step, this highway must reach until the first railway base. That base is my main target now. Interesting bases are those on both sides of the railway. It is important to get all of these, as only then it is guaranteed that my trains will not be hit from there. Trains are only strong if they can reach interesting targets. I produce new units in the center of the map and send them to the south, as the newly conquered bases are busy with adding more flex. During that migration I get attacked by a plane. To attack the plane with my stealth helicopter was a mistake, especially as the plane cannot do much because my bases are everywhere. This player R Rambo I will meet many more times later. I occasionally interrupt my activities in the south for taking a base in the center of the map if there is a good opportunity. As I already have many bases there, I can easily see when a new player base changes the status. Of course, I then take it. But I do not forget my most important goal, moving forward towards the first railway base. On my way, I add base after base. Finally, I reach the first railway base. 9 flex level 1 are not too much, so I attack immediately. In such a case I again use my Halifax. Due to the long duration of reloading ammunition they only supported occasionally before. But now speed is key, trying to finish before the owner sends more defense. As my trains will need a crane anyway, I can build it immediately. It is my third crane on this map, not including the crane at my home base. Generally, I cannot recommend to have a crane at the home base. A crane has to be at a fixed position. And units getting repaired must not be left alone unprotected when you lock off. A crane on one river base and one railway base is a must have. Also, cranes should be spread over the map wisely. I can be very happy with the result right now. My main goals have been achieved. This enables me to expand further based on that foundation. How I do that, you will be able to see in the next episodes of this Desert Order Power Start series. Please subscribe, so that you no longer miss new videos in this channel.